Here's the thing about compositing. If you can, try to do your visual effects on set and in camera. It is, after all, much more realistic that way and saves you a lot of time in post-production. Ultimately, your compositing work complexity depends on how well the production team shot the footage. If there were more mistakes on set, the more work you have to do. Very well-planned shoots ideally would have less things and shots for you to composite by nature, which may be a good or bad thing, depending on your perspective. If you're a workaholic like me, you'd probably enjoy handling a difficult shot, but if you just want to get by with as many shots as possible, then you'd love handling those fast and easy ones. Another thing to note about compositing is that you become kind of like the janitor or the cleanup crew for all the past artists who had once touched that shot. What do I mean by that? Well, it means that if they made a mess in the work file or had a lot of layers all over the place, you'd be the last person in the pipeline who would have to jump in and fix all that up before the final push or render. So I believe I did touch on some automated tools and ways to composite, but once again, these are not smart enough yet and still require manual adjustments by the artists. And like the great magicians of this earth, compositing really is all about deception of the eye and not getting your lies or magic caught by the savvy audiences of today. That is the truth behind compositing. That should be about it. Did I miss out anything? Perhaps you have some suggestions on new discoveries to add or share about compositing. Well, go ahead, post those eager thoughts or questions on the Q&A board. But if there's nothing else, happy comping!